pet adoptions have increased 15% just this past year. A study published in the Washington Post says there were around 26,000 more adoptions than there were in 2019. And while welcoming a new furry friend into your home can be exciting and fun, it can also be pretty expensive. Joining me now is Ashley Avery from First Florida Credit Union. Good morning. Thank you for being with us this morning. Good morning. What are some of the main costs that people should look out for when they are considering adopting a new pet? So this might sound a little bit shocking, okay? But, um, you know, when we're looking at their, their sweet little furry faces, we're really not thinking about how much they cost. But the average cost, uh, for example, of uh, owning a dog through its lifetime is about $23,000. $400. That's a lot of money over the life of your pet. So some of those big ticket items uh, mainly come in how you acquire your pet. So when you adopt a pet, uh, those fees are kind of low. You know, they're between like $20 and $100 on average. Um, but when if you are looking for like a purebred cat or dog, we know that that can be hundreds of dollars, even thousands of dollars. And the second thing that we have to think about is feeding our pets every month. And so that is relatively low as well, but it's between $20 and $60 monthly, uh, depending on your pet's dietary needs. But where we start getting into some of the higher cost is really those medical expenses, like your vet visits. An average vet visit is about $150 a visit. Now that's not too hefty, but in that first year when you're owning your, your pet or uh, your cat or your dog, especially if they're kitten or puppy, you may have to go to uh, the vet several times to get those vaccinations, those booster shots. We have to account for that. But where the big expense really comes in and it really blows people's budgets sometimes are those medical emergencies. And if you own a pet, you know, I know there are viewers out there right now saying, yes, medical emergencies happen. They, they just do. I just had one this weekend, actually. So that's just a part of pet ownership. But those can be anywhere from $500 to $1,000 you know, per visit. Sometimes when ur more urgent matter like surgery is needed, it can be $5,000. So that's something we really have to think about and we really want to set aside a budget for. And so with all of those costs that you just mentioned, I, I can relate to the pet emergencies. They come up when you least expect them. What do you recommend people do to budget for a pet? Well, you know, and you and budgeting for the pet is really the key here because we want to factor in, you know, those monthly costs that we have. We want to factor those in just like we do for our own groceries, for our own grooming, right? But when we're talking about um, some of those larger expenses, one, we need to have a good understanding of what those expenses are. We just kind of rolled through several of those. And the best way to tackle that is to set up a separate savings account. And a lot of financial institutions will allow you to do that online. Certainly, First Florida Credit Union uh, allows our members to do that you can actually name the account uh you know pet cost pet expenses or maybe your pet's name um, i'll use my pet for an example hendrix <laughs> so you can name that start funneling in you know 50 dollars a month if you can that's the best way to make sure that you're going to be able to cover some of those big costs that are bound to pop up at some time do you have any tips for people to kind of reduce their expenses when it comes to pets Oh, certainly. There are several ways we can do that. One of the biggest ways is that, you know, when we talk about um, the expense of acquiring your pet, like how you come about um, getting your pet, adopting is always a great way to lessen some of those um, entry costs because uh, sometimes there are free adoption events. So you can actually get your pet for free um, when there are small fees that are associated with it, that 20 to $100 that we talked about before. A lot of times that will cover your initial vaccinations. Um, it can also cover the spay and the neutering of your pet as well. A very great way to cut down on this cost. And the next biggest thing is that, you know, if you're not a diligent saver, if you really can't kind of trust yourself to slide in that $50 or $100 a month, to cover those big expenses, think about pet insurance. It's a great investment. It's a great way to have resources on hand no matter what happens. And that can range from 30 to $50 a month. So again, that's a very affordable option. Ashley Avery, all good tips. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.